Hi everyone, this is still me, Ms. Mea, and in this video, we're going to solve a problem involving a convex mirror. A Game of Thrones action figure, 8 cm tall, is placed 6 cm in front of a convex mirror with a radius of curvature 24 cm. Where is the image in this case? And for B, what is the size and orientation of the image? So, the first thing we're going to solve for is letter A. Where is the image in this case? Let's start by writing down the given. So for the object height, we have 8 centimeters. Object distance is 6 centimeters away from the mirror. And then the radius of curvature is 24 centimeters. But don't forget that it has to have a negative sign. Why? Simply because we have a convex mirror. And just a reminder, the radius of curvature of a convex mirror is behind the reflective side of the mirror. Because if you extend a convex mirror as a full circle or sphere, the radius of that circle or sphere would be there. And it's going to be behind the reflective side of the convex mirror. So it has to be negative. Now, for focal length, it's half of the radius of curvature, so it will be negative 12. By the way, there are some problems they will, that will directly give you the appropriate sign for the radius of curvature or the focal length. Let's say it's convex, they will automatically make it negative. But for a problem like this, where they're simply giving you um, the magnitudes or the numerical values without the appropriate sign yet, you have to be extra careful. Okay, so for radius of curvature, make it negative for convex mirrors. Same if the focal length is given. Now for the RTF, we have image distance because it says where is the image in this case. For the solution, the first thing that would come to our mind would be the mirror equation because it contains V sub i, which is the RTF, and the other variables that it has also satisfies the given. Okay, So for the substitution, object distance is 6 centimeters, and then V sub i is the RTF while the focal length is negative 12. To isolate V sub i, we transpose this on the right side of the equation, and we're going to have this. So it will take a minus sign because it was positive on the left side before the transposition was done. Okay, now you can deal with this one using your calculator, but the alternative way would be to do this manually. So if you want to do it manually, the first thing you have to do is to get the least common denominator of negative 12 and 6 centimeters. So that would be negative 12 because negative 12 is divisible by negative 12 and by 6. So it, it can also be positive 12 because it will also be divisible by negative 12 and 6 centimeter. But for this one, I just chose to pick negative 12. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to do is negative 12 divided by negative 12 times 1. So that becomes positive 1. And then negative 12 divided by 6 is going to be negative 2 times 1. So that's negative 2. And then just affix the minus sign. So it's here. And then 1 minus negative 2 will give us positive 3 okay, there. And then negative 2 is still going to be affixed. And then for you to make V sub i a numerator, since that's the RTF, so you have to flip the equation vertically. And you will have this. Negative 12 divided by 3 is going to be negative 4. So V sub i, or image distance, is negative 4 centimeters or 4 centimeters behind the mirror. You would know it's behind the mirror because based on our sign conventions, if V sub i is negative, it means that the image is located behind the mirror. So it's a virtual image in that case, right? Because if it's in front of the mirror, once again, that's a real image. Going forward, let us solve for the next required to find, which is the size and the orientation of the image. So same given, and then we just added V sub i, which is negative 4, because as mentioned earlier, normally in optics problems, something that you, you have just solved previously is normally utilized in the second required to find. So we're going to write it down as a given. And then the required to find this time is the size and orientation of the image. So the size is equivalent to the variable that we call as image height, right? Or h sub i. For the orientation, it depends on the sign. Because if h sub i is negative, then it's inverted. And if it's positive, it's upright. The orientation can also be based on the magnification, okay? But since we're solving for h sub i, 
then we can use it as well as the basis for the orientation. For the solution, we can pick this equation at first because H sub I is present and that's the RTF. However, magnification is not present among the given, although we know H sub O, right? Okay, but what we can do is think of some other equations that we know in, in terms of mirror problem solving. So we can think of the mirror equation, for example. However, we don't even see H sub I there to begin with, and there's no other way we can directly relate this one to this for the purpose of merging. So let's forget it for now. Now let's think of the third equation that we have. It's m equals negative di over d sub o. Now the beauty behind the equation is that if you look at the variables, let's say d sub i and d sub o, they are both known in the problem. Besides, this equation describes magnification. And if you think of it, if these two equations are both equivalent to magnification, we can equate the right side of it. So it's like if m equals m, then this expression can also be equated to this one. So we're going to have h sub i over h sub o equals negative d sub i over d sub o. Now, why will it work? Simply because the RTF are required to find is there and the remaining variables are known as given in the problem. Okay, To make it a linear, to, to, to write it as a linear one, okay, then we're going to do Cross multiplication, of course, we want to isolate h sub i, right? So if you do cross multiplication, you're going to have this. So h sub i times d sub o equals negative d sub i multiplied by h sub o. And then divide both sides by d sub o for us to cancel this. And then this is what we're going to have. For the substitution, okay, so d sub i is negative 4 centimeters. But take note that in the equation, there's also another negative sign. Okay, so that will be written outside the parentheses. And then h sub o is 8 centimeters. And then d sub o is 6 centimeters. And then simplifying the expression, we have negative times negative equals positive 4 times 8 equals 32. So it's 32 over 6. And then that gives us 5.3 centimeters as the image height. Now, summarizing the answers for A, we have D sub I equals negative 4. And once again, negative D sub I means the image is a virtual image. So the image is 4 centimeters behind the mirror. And then image height is 5.3 centimeters. So that's the height of the image. And the positive sign means that the image is upright. In fact, for convex mirrors, the image is always upright, minimize or diminish, and then virtual as evidence also in this particular ray diagram, although the level of getting minimized would vary depending on where you exactly place the object. So in this particular convex mirror or, or ray diagram for convex mirror, we can also see that the image is upright, it's minimized or it's smaller than the actual object, and it's virtual because it's located behind the mirror and it's not formed by actual light rays. These are just projections of the brain itself, thinking that light always follows a straight line path. In fact, convex mirrors are used for the rear view mirror of bars because it gives them a minimized image. And because of that, as a consequence, the field of view is actually wider. And that is necessary for the driver to know much of what's happening behind him. The same type of mirror is also used for car side mirrors because same thing, it gives the driver a wider field of view, although the image are actually minimized. But of course, these mirrors have a radius of curvature that are so designed so that the objects are not too minimized, so just enough for the driver to see them clearly without compromising the field of view. The same type of mirror is used for surveillance mirror. So convex mirrors are also needed for this type of mirror because for secu security or monitoring purposes, they have to get a wider field of view, although the image size is actually smaller than the actual object. So mirrors are unique and each type has its own mold or shape because each of them has its own purpose, be it convex or concave or plain mirror. And just like humans, we have our unique personality, talent, and it's all because of a good purpose. That's all for this video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.